Hey guys. Hi. Hi. Hi, Tishira. Hi, can you hear me well? Yes. Yes. Were, we were you yes. were you kicked out by any chance? Were you kicked out of the meeting and then logged back in or yeah, yeah, in my case. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, but everybody's joining again. That was me. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> I entered the wrong number, so I, I don't know what I did. Sorry, guys. Um, how are you doing? <laughs> How's everything? How was the weekend? Hi, teacher. It was good. Yeah. Happy Teacher's yeah. Day. Happy Teacher's Day. Happy Teacher's Day. <laughs> oh, that's a song for me? Day. Thank you. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I know. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Hey, it's our last week. So you're about to finish this module. Did you receive information on, let me see where it is. Here it is. Did you receive information that you're going to be changing from one program to another? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah. Yes, I was able Yes. To. All right. It's a see. different one with two hours per day. Or I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah, 10 hours a week, so it's pretty intensive, and you don't have to work on the platform. But the teacher gives you all the material, they teach you everything, so you do everything in class, right? You don't have to complete any platform. So it's intensive, and there's a lot of practice. So We're going to do that. It has mm -hmm. to be 80% at least of the classes. Yeah, you have to be in 80% of the classes, that is right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I didn't get that information. Really? Let me see. Me neither. What do I have to do? Let me read this and I will tell you. Okay, now these. That's going to be Monday to Friday, two hours a day. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna send you this, guys. Look, did somebody send it to a group? I sent you the information, right? That's uh, all you have to know about the program and the steps you have to follow. You have until the 1st of July to complete this. So we need to do it quickly. Because as soon as you finish, we're going to start on the 1st. But you must be entering in the queries that the message said. Just in my case, it says intermediate, intermediate, five. Mm -hmm. It's a, like continuing this lesson. Or it's another program. I'm not getting it. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, I, I think you you will go to the. Um, it is different because you know in this program you have pre advanced, right? Pre intermediate and so on. So you will have to get in one of the intermediate groups, not the advanced groups. Let me see your pre advanced. That would possibly be, I'm not sure, guys, because I don't know what the equivalent of this course is in the other program, but that would possibly be, I would say, intermediate four, maybe, or five. Yeah, the message I received, it says number five, intermediate. Okay. That's the equivalent. So I was not far. <laughs> intermediate yeah. five is the one you would have to sign up for. Okay. This course, the one that is two hours long, guys, it is free. So, you know, you don't have to pay for it, right? But somebody's paying for it anyway. The course is about $85, I think, or $90 a month. So it is expensive. Somebody's paying for it. So I would say, hey, let's take advantage of this and sign up as soon as we can, all right? Because you're not going to have to pay anything from it. 
80%. So yeah, check that information. If you have any questions, you have the phone numbers there. You can call Inglés Corporativo, but try to get the documentation as soon as possible. Yeah, it says, look, my own information, and it has the, uh, the WhatsApp number, so you can message there in case you have questions, all right? Is that clear? Yes, so, yes. Thanks. So basically, every teacher is going to be teaching those courses, not these anymore, but um, the other ones, the longer ones. Okay. So let's pick up where we left off. Let me see. We're going to start section five. And that's the last one. So now everybody was able to see the message, right? Yes, thank you. Okay, everyone? Great. We were practicing past perfect, and I said we already saw positive and negative. We all need to study the question form. Here it is. So let's watch the video, okay? Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll learn how to form questions using the past perfect tense. So let's get started. I would like to start off by presenting the formula, if you will, in order to form past perfect questions. So let me include the formula now to this document, and then I'm going to write a couple of questions, and then we're going to try to make sense of those two questions there. So let me start off by having a yes or no question. And then we're going to try to make sense of this particular question, of course, following this formula that we see here. So first of all, um, if we have a yes and no question, I will start by using hath. That's the auxiliary verb. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and color that real fast just to make sure that we are understanding this particular topic. I think I'm using green color there. Yeah. And then uh, this follows the subject. In this case, this happens to be you. So let me put a little blue color there. Uh, then uh, we will use the past participle of the verb that we're using. So in this case, it's the verb study. Okay, there we go. Um, and then we have a complement. So that uh, in black, you see that that's the complement of this particular question. So the question is, had you studied English before taking this class? Right. Um, and um, that's how we form a yes or no question. Uh, let me write a WH question uh, and WH questions well uh, what that means is that we're going to include a WH word and we do that whenever we want more information about a particular topic uh, this the way to do it is almost the same thing with the only difference that we will include a WH word as you can see there we have a WH word there uh, and then hat continues to we use the auxiliary hat uh, we include the subject uh, in this case, we include the past participle of the verb, and then whatever complement that exists. So the question is, where had you studied English before taking this class? So maybe the answer to the previous question was yes, and then we went and uh, we asked a second question. Where had you studied English before taking this class? So what I would like for you to do now is to practice making lots of questions in order to make sure that you're understanding this particular topic. Let's see. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, what is the structure of the questions, guys, for past perfect? Did you get that? Yes. Uh, plus have plus 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 complement. plus 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 complement. plus 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 had you studied? I just English studied English before before this course. Okay. Um. Then we're gonna discuss the same. Had you graduated from? Had you graduated from high school by the age of 
18, the majority, I think. So I'm going to say 17. Maybe you can use a negative form. Then, had you learned to read by the age of six? Some people had, some people hadn't, right? And I have another question for you. Had you, so I'm recycling this, guys. Okay. Had you met or seen any of your classmates before you saw them or met them in this course? All right, those are the questions we're going to discuss. I'm going to start with this one because I'm curious, okay? So has anybody, or no, sorry, had anybody met or seen any of your classmates before you saw them in this course? Or is this the first time? In my case, it's the first no. time. You hadn't seen anybody before this class? No, I hadn't. I hadn't. No, I hadn't. No. no? Okay. So no, nobody has had that experience then. In my case, I had seen Marcela before I saw her in this course. So she doesn't remember me, but I, I remember her. <laughs> I had seen her in an academy before. So those are the questions we're going to discuss. We're going to say, yes, I had, or no, I hadn't, and then give details. All right, have a conversation. Let's do that for about six minutes, okay? If you can come up I would like you to write three other questions, okay? Three more questions of your own. Anything you're curious of, if you can. All right, let's practice those. Ready? Yep. Okay, let's do it. Great. Let me see. In groups of three, accept the invitation, please. Here it is. And turn your cameras on, please. I see a lot of people with them off, like five people. Turn them on, accept the invitation. teacher is saying and the first question is if you um what was the first question let me see the picture <laughs> hi teacher happy teacher day first <laughs> thank of you all. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> yeah so it's teacher say you have questions guys uh no it's okay all right great yeah, all the questions yeah. are going to start with have you, have you, okay. Have you. Okay, how you studied English before this course? Have you graduated from high school by the age of 17? No, I haven't graduated from my age, uh, before the age of 18. Um, I graduated after, or, or when I turned 18 years old. And that's why I was so excited because I think I, I needed to improve my pronunciation. In my last academy, they don't tell me a lot about my pronunciation. So that's why I decided, and I took a decision to learn English here. And also that academy is a little bit costly. So I think English Comparativo is a great opportunity. So that's why. He's saying that because I'm yes, here. Yes, hey, I have the best teacher. Oh, teacher. <laughs> hi. hi. <laughs> it's because he, he, he saw your teacher. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Carlos, how much were you paying in the past? Like $70, $70 or something like that. Yeah. yeah, and that's not the most expensive you can pay. You can pay up to $150 a month. Yeah. One thing, if you have yeah. this opportunity, 
take advantage of it because singles is really expensive right now anyway yeah if you get it for cheap usually it's because the person speaks intermediate english when whenever yeah. you get low price it's because it's bad quality so okay but great. thank you i'm happy you're enjoying it great i'll take another reason right <laughs> <laughs> <So>. <laughs> I had in 17 when I uh -huh. graduated from high school. Same case. Oh, you um, graduated at the age of 17? You were 17? Yeah. Actually, 16, I think. Yeah. Or no. 17, I think. 17, and you, Carla? Me too. Yeah, no, no, I had 16. I was. I graduated, I graduated on November and my birthday is on December. So uh, I had okay, 16 you years. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I, I, I was 16 years. <laughs> no, you know, I started the university at the age of 16, very early. Um, I think Miguel is not there. No, no, no. I'm gonna mute him. Hold on. So let's see if you can practice. And you are away. Try to try to write two other questions, okay? Yeah. Okay. okay. And discuss. So we are eight because my I didn't went to the kindergarten, but mm -hmm. my father so? told me to be allowed to do everything. So when I went to first grade, I already know everything. <laughs> oh, that's great. So in my case, yes. I didn't go to kindergarten till. So that's why I went to school when I was seven years old. So I consider I wasn't able to, to speak in order to read in that way. So I'm not considering reading at that time. But right now, most of the children they read at that uh, they read at that time yeah it's true yes yeah so next question first grade yeah, that's really nice <laughs> yeah it's really nice really fast okay the next question is have you met or seen any of your classmates before you saw in the in this group in this course uh, no, in my case, I hadn't, actually. Okay, if we have time, I'm gonna send you an exercise so that you can practice the structure of the questions, yes, no questions, and WH questions, okay? Because it gets confusing sometimes. Only if we have time. Right now we need to make progress, so we're gonna uh, work on this. Uh, everybody join me, please, and let's go to section 4.11, okay? Carlos de Leon, number one. Be ready to unmute your microphone, please, if I call your name. Uh, yes, yes. And number one, a thief break into our house last night while my sister and I, and I were picking up a pizza for dinner. So a thief, what is the, the conjugation you made? Broke into. Broke, broke into. Uh, broke into. Yeah, it's in the past, right? Yes. Very good. And I guess, continue. Carlos, you haven't finished. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm sorry. Uh, like a whole uh, story. Okay, a thief broke into our house or my house last night while my sister and I were picking up a pizza for dinner. Mm -hmm. And I guess. Oh, sorry. I guess we left. Mm, what do you think, guys? Everyone else? 
had left, maybe? Uh, had left. Yeah, because look, this is the order of the events, all right? They left the house, but they probably hadn't logged it before they left. And then while they were doing this, something happened. So we have a lot of events, right? This happened mm -hmm. before they left, or it didn't happen before they left. So that's why you have to use past perfect. That has to be the right answer. Uh, but let's see, okay. I haven't checked, but we'll see. Number two, let me see. Who's gonna help me? Karen. Karen, go ahead. Uh, I was shopping with some friends yesterday and I lost my keys. Luckily, I gave, I have gave, given a friend a copy. Uh -huh. a copy of them and she came over and let me into my apartment so before that event happened she had given keys to someone luckily very good three teacher, she, sorry teacher uh, she said was shopping in the second i was shopping you was shopping very good carlos alfaro number three Okay, and I was driving around with friends all day on Sunday, and I ran, ran, ran out of gas of the freeway. Mm -hmm. I think so. Yep. And why, why is shopping and with ING? And because this is a continuous action. It's past continuous. The person was shopping and she lost the keys. It's not like she went to shop and then she lost the keys. You see, this was happening at the moment that the other event happened. It's not, if you use pass, 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 it means that it's consecutive, right? One thing happens, it finishes, the other thing happens and it ends and so on. But this wasn't in progress when the other event happened. That's why. And okay. The last part, Carlos. Sorry. And uh, okay, and luckily, or something like that. Luckily, I had thought, thought or something like that. Growth. I don't remember. I I don't know the pronunciation in the brain in past. Brought, 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 brought myself my cell phone with me, so I called my brother for help. Yep, you got it, guys. Woohoo! That was hard. You gave me the right answers. So, this is done. Let's go to section 4.12, I think, right? Let's do the next one. Mostly, I have given. Okay, is that it? Is there an exercise that we didn't complete? No, right? I think we already finished with this section. Yeah, because I saw two. Maybe it was repeated. Okay, great. So before we start uh, section five, I would like you to do some exercises so that we can consolidate the structure of the questions. Okay, so it's right here. I will give you time. I will not tell you how many exercises to do, but It will be based on time. So I'm sending it to WhatsApp. I'm also gonna send it here later, but I'm sending it to WhatsApp right now. So I will give you, let me see, seven minutes, okay? And when the seven minutes are up, I'm gonna bring you back. So do as many exercises as you can. There are 20 total, all right, ready? Let's practice, one second. Two, three. All right, accept the invitation. Let's do the exercises, please. I'll send you that in a second.
deja de comer eso. Deja de comer eso, te estoy diciendo. All right, let's begin. We only have five minutes, guys. Five minutes, okay. Yes, try to do as many as you can, please. Okay. <laughs> Are we going to write a t-shirt and, and a notebook or just in? No, on the website. Yes. I, I sent the it here, so you can do it on the on the website or you can do it on the phone. But do it quickly, please. Okay. Okay. First. Oh. She had had she seen? Yeah. Uh, I have he forgotten about the meeting. The same. Had I read? 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 That's 